Hello, hello. It's business partner, Bill and Plus. Unit 5, Logistics. Lesson 5.2, Driverless Technology, Part A. This lesson is really interesting. If you're watching this video and you like logistics, technology, you will love the content. Why do, you, do I say so? Because it's going to talk about this technology. Imagine, imagine that you are in a car, you are going somewhere, but nobody there is holding the steering wheel. Uh, it's going drivelessly. Wow, it's something new today, but it's the future driverless technology. What is that? Look here. The guy is sitting comfortably. There's nobody, no human driving the car, but the car is going to the right destination. This is incredible. No, it isn't incredible because it's already uh, a reality some, in some places, in some tests, successful tests. And the lesson today will be about this. And we'll learn how to use the passive form in a range of past, present and future tenses to describe processes. The first part of the lesson is more connected to vocabulary. And the second part, in the second part, the next video, we'll talk more about the use of the the passive forms passive tense okay um, well the first idea is to discuss how it works how can somewhere go someone go somewhere without drive driving the car basically you set the destination and the car goes by itself. It has sensors, as you see, and then the car goes by itself. I don't know exactly how it works. We are going to learn some aspects of this technology in this video and in the next one, but it's more related to logistics, the idea of this lesson, okay? It's more connected to people transportation in buses and, and freight in the freight industry. Look at the first exercise. Look at, look at and discuss the picture. How is it possible? Use some of the vocabulary in this box. We have here commercial vehicles, drivers, logistics systems, long haul manufacturers, new technologies, pedals, self-driving systems, steering wheel, truck operators. Mm, maybe, well, I have already shown what a steering wheel is. It's that circle that people hold to drive the car, to control the direction of it. Hole. What's the meaning of whole? Maybe you have seen in films uh, a company called U Whole. But what's the idea be, be behind whole? I have the word here in the long one dictionary and listen. Whole. Whole. All right. It isn't a hole in a house, it's whole. What is it? To pull something heavy with a continuous steady movement or to transport goods. Long haul is here in the Oxford Learner's Dictionary is transport of goods or tra passengers over long distances. Long haul. Long haul. All right. So that's it. This is what we are talking today about. And pedals, those things that we press to 
speed up the car to to break the car to stop it okay the idea is for you to create sentences describing self driving systems or autonomous systems to take a car a bus or a lorry through long whole or long distances okay what are the manufacturers who are building vehicles like this what kind of commercial operations can you talk about and what kind of vehicles they use uh, what about pedals are there pedals in those cars maybe for safety i don't know and the drivers where are they going to be are there going to be drivers reading watching films but uh, there if necessary and what about the truck operators what are they going to do tell me in the comments and by the way why don't you like the video and follow the channel after that we have the second question here the second question is um oh, second exercise is a discussion about these interesting topics the first one how carefully do lorries drive on motorways in your country how could technology help them uh, lorries are trucks in american english they say trucks how's it well in brazil there, I can say that there are many different Brazils. Brazils. Why? Because they are very good motorways in some states of Brazil with, with long uh, straight sessions of the, the, the motorways. But there are also hilly parts in the country. They are also very muddy. Uh, roads in Brazil so it's very different they have lorry drivers are great people because they have to deal with many different conditions and it's very it's not common to have snow here but it rains a lot in some parts of the country um, so how carefully do they drive in Brazil well some people would say that some lorry drivers are careless about the other vehicles I can't say that but some people say that how could technology help them mm, cameras are now helping them when they go backwards or when they have to analyze what's happening behind them and but imagine uh, self-driving lorry how it would impact uh, the the area the industry what are some of the problems for long distance or long haul drivers of commercial vehicles well to stay awake for example to be far from their families what other things issues problems realities can you think of why don't you write in the comments and let's get prepared to talk about these problems they face on in their jobs right and the third how would you define logistics well i have a definition here but why don't you think for some seconds and tell me well logistics can be defined as the business of transporting things such as goods to the place where they are needed very good definition from pearson and well there's a whole industry connected to logistics nowadays there are university courses connected to that and it's a big industry in brazil and in your country is it big as well well we have this article here from 
Financial Times uh, called Lorries Lead Cars in the Technology Race. What's that? Oh, look at this picture. Interesting van. Mercedes-Benz new battery-powered delivery van that has rooftop drones. Crazy. Interesting. Well, there is this article. What do we have to do? Read the article quickly and how many automotive companies are mentioned in the article? Which ones? So how many and what which they are? Which, what companies are they? Why don't you take a print of the of the article? Uh oh, I'm on the way. Not now. So now you can take a print and then let's read together. Lorries lead cars in the technology race. Oh, sorry. Why don't you pause the video and you find the companies and you count them. For example, here we have one. And that one is Volvo, right? Volvo is one. It's from Sweden and is one of the companies. We had a second one, Mercedes-Benz, right? Number two and so on. Let's continue and uh, let's read, but try to do that by yourself on your own. Silicon Valley is just waking up to technology opportunities in buses and lorries, which are ahead of passengers, passenger cars in self-driving systems. Martin Lundstedt of Volvo, the Swedish bus and lorry maker, said software companies were taking an interest in both long-haul freight and public transport as technology developed in these areas will be used in passenger cars. Four years ago, nobody was talking about transportation, logistics systems and new technologies, said Mr. Lundstedt at the IAA Commercial Vehicles Show in Hanover. But now the focus is on logistics and efficiency. Volvo says self-driving technology in buses and lorries is easier compared to cars, partly because these commercial vehicles can be tested in closed areas far away from humans. Mr. Lundstedt said the technology that has been used in lorries to improve predictive cruise control systems will be developed in other areas, including self-driving cars. German car parts maker ZF said lorries were likely to see big advances in self-driving technology because investments can significantly reduce truck operation operators' costs. ZF has already designed a self-driving lorry where the driver can step down and rest while the truck is unloaded and then loaded again. With self-driving technology, drivers can be given new tasks to plan routes or process shipping documents. Truckers of the future will be more like logistic managers said Marcus Hein at Bosch, the world's largest automotive supplier by revenue. At the IAA show, Daimler, the world's biggest manufacturer of commercial vehicles, was showing a battery-powered delivery van that was made by its Mercedes-Benz subsidiary, where that has neither pedals nor steering wheel and relies on a joystick controller. It's equipped with drones to be used for the last mile of deliveries. In the next 10 years, 
there will be more changes to our tracks than in the last 120 years, said Wolfgang Bernhardt, head of Daimler's buses and lorries unit. So could you find the, the companies that are mentioned here? Uh, which are the companies we saw together Volvo and Mercedes-Benz. All right, then we have a, a series of questions that I would like you to give me the answers. We have here eight questions. Read the article again, if necessary. You took a print, maybe. And now you can work uh, on the questions. Why are software companies taking an interest in buses and lorries? We have it here. Look, mm, software companies were taking an interest in both long haul freight and public transport. As technologies developed in these areas will be used in passenger cars. So if they develop for freight and public transport, they are also developing for passenger cars. So they have to work only once. Very interesting. Very interesting, right? What words can be are used in the text instead of buses and lorries? Well, I've just mentioned one, public transport, right? For buses. But for lorries, we have other, other expressions that you have to find. Three, what was the focus of the IAA commercial vehicles show? Look, the focus, what was the focus? The answer is here. Uh, five, why is self-driving technology easier to develop in buses and lorries than in cars? Why? Do you remember? Mm. Here. And... Mm. Where is it? Where is it? Aha, uh -huh. yes, the answer is here. You have to tell me. Find two ways self-driving technology will benefit the automotive sector. There are two basically in the text. And you should tell me. Okay. Mm, basically, we saw something here, but the answer is more here okay not here but commercial vehicles no where is it mm -hmm. here one part of the answer And you will find the other ones, the other one somewhere else, like here, right? So why don't you find the answers? How will the work of lorry drivers, how will it change in the future? But basically here, here, right? <laughs> Managers. Interesting. Seven. What is special about Mercedes-Benz new delivery van? Well, its aspect is something. I would say that it's part of the answer. And eight. What will happen to commercial vehicles in the near future? Well, this is the paragraph where you can find the answer. I really liked this text here very nice but maybe you have your own ideas or 
with the use of with the reading of this text you got more ideas so what other changes do you think there might be in the way goods are transported in the next 10 years you should bring me some answers right why don't you write in the comments or you take them to your teacher in during your life lesson here logistics extractivities we have to create collocations from the article do you remember collocations are words that go together so for example you have here car you can say oops sorry let me go to the first part volvo said software companies were taking an interest in for a variety of commercial vehicles it's based in the text so you can go back to your print and find the answer but you remember that right it's taking an interest in technology opportunities look at two according to volvo's chief executive executive people weren't talking about and logistics systems at trade shows four years ago but it is transportation right volvo is a bus and lorry why don't you answer so you pause try to answer by yourself and then you check it's manufacturer right Selfing driving technology in buses and lorries are easier than in cars because these vehicles can be tested away from drivers, <laughs> away from people, right? Yes, they're correct. And let's go to the second part. The technology that has been used to improve predictive something control in lorries can also be applied to self-driving cars to improve predictive cruise loading investment control it's about cruise control right yes but six we have six here with self-driving vehicles truck the drivers will be able to rest while goods are put taken unloaded oh unloaded is a much better word than put or taken right mercedes-benz is a of the daimler group it's part of the bigger group right part of the bigger group a career service of daimler a drone maker no oh, a subsidiary right and finally Mercedes-Benz new delivery van comes with drones so that the courier doesn't have to process, deliver, load the goods for the last part of the journey. The driver, oh, the courier doesn't have to deliver the goods for the last part of the journey, okay? Now we are going to work with collocations. We have these words and we have to put them together. Can we do that? For example, car parts. We have car, commercial, cruise, logistics, public, shipping and steering. And we have control, documents, managers, parts, transport, wheel and vehicles. Well, what do we have here? We have nouns basically car parts commercial commercial vehicles cruise cruise control and we also have logistics logistics managers public public transport shipping 
shipping documents and steering wheel. Which ones were easier for you? Which ones did you already know? And which ones were strange for you? Now we have another, another exercise with collocations, but now we have verb and noun. Oh, by the way, here we had, we have to say that the first part of the words are of the collocations are also working with as adjectives, like okay, so they are nouns and adjectives with nouns, and here we have verbs plus nouns, and we have drive. You drive a vehicle, right? Can you drive goods? Can you drive a lorry? Yes. Can you drive documents? Can you drive trucks? Yes. You plan. You can plan. You can plan. What can you plan? You can play routes. You can process. You can process goods. You can process documents, right? And you can unload a vehicle. If you can unload a vehicle, you can unload a lorry and you can unload a truck. Okay? Basically, this is it. It's all in the text. So you could go and check your answers. Very nice lesson because we're talking about self driving self-driving systems, self-driving vehicles and it's wonderful because it's the future or some people would say it's the present already. All right, so I hope you are having a great time watching the videos. Please like the video, follow the channel and see you in the next video for part B of lesson 5.2. Bye-bye!